and I'm an artist in Regina and I guess I do a mix of different types of art. I um, do acrylic painting, collaging, alcohol ink, um, what else do I do? Coffee art and poetry. Yeah, I think those are my main types of art that I do if I were to have to explain them. I would say that my art is a reflection of my lived human experience. So that's why you see many different types of art in my home and in my collection. Yeah. I think my painting, my acrylic paintings are more of a reflection of the Saskatchewan landscape, I guess. I'm just a farm girl, prairie girl. I love that. Brings peace to my soul, I guess. Um, and my collaging is more of a social statement a lot um, just I think a female view of the world and alcohol ink is definitely more therapeutic so when I'm not feeling well alcohol ink is a great way to just let the fluid move for my body instead and um, yeah anything else I do is more of a hobby so uh, my studio practice is not a practice because I'm way too much of a hippie and I'm way too sick to subscribe to that kind of thought process. Um, I create when I need to create, which is every day, um, but it's whenever I feel like I can, just physically or even mentally. Plus I'm a stay-at-home mom and I have one that's schooling online and one that's in, so a lot of running around. Yeah, and sometimes I'll just like, okay, this is what we're doing. I know you have school and stuff, but we're just creating and I just kind of get everybody to embrace the creative lifestyle. So lots of times we just shut down the world and we just create. So um, I don't art journal, but I do keep a little log in my phone sometimes when I'm like, ooh, I really like the idea of this. Um, but mostly my art is just a free living moment in itself. It just is on its own so if I feel I, I feel so crazy sometimes when I talk about it but I like you get a feeling that you just need to let something out and then I don't like subscribe to the whole like sketching it out and and really making myself feel pressured or the art to feel pressured to become something I just let it be and then it evolves into what it is at the end um so my inspiration is definitely the thought of living creation I just believe you know, there could possibly be a creator, but also I'm creation, living creation, and everything I touch is creation. So it doesn't matter if I'm like sweeping the floor, I'm creating something. And I think those those thoughts and, and uh, expectations kind of swirl around the universe and then just come together and they just like explode inside of you and then they come out. Well, growing up, both my parents were artists. My dad is like a charcoal portrait sketch artist and my mom paints landscape. Her dad was a carver and an abstract artist. And so it's almost like blood. My, there's a lot of like my dad's siblings who are really skilled painters and whatnot. So it's just like, it's almost DNA. And it, I'm not sure. I remember like being like 12 and actually getting like suspended from school because my art journal in art class was a little darker than I guess what the teacher thought it should be. Um, and my parents just really went to bat for me and my dad actually like bought some sort of online, well it wasn't online at the time, but it was mail-in course, right? And that's how old I am, so that's great news. And um, yeah, he paid for that and I just did art that way and I thought, I don't know a different way to live and I really don't know a different way to live other than to create every day because that was just my childhood experience. I mean, I'd love to be in an actual gallery and do something. Um, I don't know. People ask me that all the time. And like, I want to write books and I also want to like definitely be successful at some point art wise. I'd love to have a couple exhibits and shows. Yeah. Do not pressure yourself or the art because it just happens. It'll just flow. I know it's a really weird mindset to get into because in society we just always have to have like an angle and we always have to have like step by step by step, but art doesn't really like that. And so just let it, just let it be. That's what I tell my kids all the time. They hate it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. So there's a few pieces upstairs and actually in my bathroom I have like, well, I have coffee art, but then I have like a whole found poetry on the wall and behind the door. Um, 
upstairs I have a collage with like a mini poem on it and then there is a watercolor with a poem kind of dedicated to my grandfather who passed away so yeah so coffee art is so fantastic because you just dump the coffee on like watercolor paper and then you let it dry and then as it's drying it's creating different depths of stain and then you just draw what you see so you don't like there's really no like you can't have any preconceived idea it's just gonna be and then you have to also be with it it's so beautiful so this is this is kind of new but my husband and i had been playing with it with the idea of having interactive art in our house since we moved to Regina. Um, I'm very hippie and he is very not, and, but I am like super creative and he's creative, but he's an engineer. So that like really floats my boat <laughs> because it just works so well when I'm like, hey, I have these ideas and I don't know how to construct them. So then we built this. My grandpa did pass away and he was a farmer and this is like a little memorial to him. And so it became like this little mini kind of joy lab experience in our house where you know, online classes are done and just things are here. You can just sit here. The, it lights up at night because there's some fairy lights in here. And yeah, so there's this and then there's the um, interactive poetry in the bathroom. So yeah, like I just, God, if I could have a home and it was just all an interactive art experience, like that would just be the best thing. Yeah. I kind of stick to my own little world and I just, like I think, because I have an illness, so like my world is littler, so I am here doing that, and my art just kind of creates its own little world inside of that. Um, kind of, it's kind of evolving actually into, um, I guess, I have a little bit of everything. I have some abstract acrylic, sunset, some watercolor, alcohol ink, and collage, and so it's like just a little mini gallery of the things that like just spark life in me, just bring me so much, just life. And then we have the interactive wall here that is just um, so peaceful and it makes people giggle and smile and like just people just get so like, I don't know, immersed in it kind of. Then you go up the stairs and there's some abstract paintings and more collage. At the top of the stairs to the right is a little mini gallery of alcohol ink and then in the family room upstairs it's like um i think acrylic painting and watercolor with poetry on it so i definitely feel um, that art brings healing i feel like the process brings healing and is super therapeutic and i think different mediums um, do different things for me so um, definitely alcohol ink is um, a representation of the limitations of my illness because like even though I don't look like it I have a disability so this is more of like a representation of what my body either can do or cannot do right so you'll see that reflected in colors and stuff um, acrylics are definitely like when things are going good like I my I'm having good days and things aren't so terrible acrylic is definitely like just the texture of it and the smell of acrylic paint and the colors like all of like the pigmentation it's just so um it's definitely like on good days right uh collaging is um like if my world was perfect and i wasn't sick because it just takes so much more energy and skill like so one of the things that my illness does is like my body feels like it's on fire 100% of the time and like that's just from head to toe and so sometimes touching things is really hard so if you're using scissors and knives and yeah it can get tricky so like collaging is my perfect world yeah and and like things like this that's that's my perfect world yeah yeah so I do like you'll notice in a lot of my collage pieces the females will have no face so I just really like that. I just, it's just like a take on how the media sells the female body and doesn't care about what's on the inside or what. So I just, yeah, you'll see a lot of that. Yeah, everything's made, like, I just like it. I know you can do digital stuff and that's cool and fun too, but it's just, there's something um, more raw about getting in the mix of glue and scissors and knives and, and paper and just really getting at it. Oh. So I made this piece here just before COVID hit and it's like um, 
the sunsets, like YQ. I always hashtag YQR, but Regina has like the most amazing sunsets and we have like an exceptional view of them because there's no one else behind us. So um, yeah, I just, you just get entranced. So I painted that. It is definitely one of our sunsets and um, it's the only piece that my dad's ever liked. So it's pretty special. <laughs> I know people are like, can I buy that? No, you cannot. 